Um, it's definitely a huge weight off my shoulders just because committing is something that um, is really important I think for every athlete and once that decision is made I think um, obviously you're going to be really excited about it so I'm super happy with my decision. I really was looking into going to Marquette. I was really serious about heading there. And then Coach Key here moved to Penn State and that changed things a lot for me because I never really considered Big Ten to be an option for me just because I wasn't really interested in like a huge school. But I really did like Coach Key here a lot. So I wanted to look into Penn State more. And then um, after a recent tournament in Pennsylvania in April, I picked up looks from like Wisconsin and Xavier and like LSU. So that kind of tracked me back in the whole commitment process. So uh, originally I wanted to commit after high school season, but then um, I, that th whole thing happened with Coach Keeger, so I pushed it back to uh, before July. So basically it came down to Penn State, Wisconsin, and Marquette. I looked at all three schools within a week and kind of took the weekend to think things over. And I came to the conclusion that I didn't really like the Big Ten setting, um, I guess you could say. Just with that classes are huge and um, kind of comparing it to Marquette, like a 50,000 student campus compared to like 12,000. Is there anything else that you know, led you to stick with Marquette knowing that the coach who was uh, looking to bring you on board was no longer there? Um, well, I think the thing with Marquette is it's kind of been in my family, like my mom went there, my uncle went there, so I was kind of raised into Marquette. And um, the old coaching staff started recruiting me when I was 13 years old, so I mean, I visited there every summer and I kind of was super familiar with the campus and really comfortable with the team and everything, so that was a big part as well. How do you think you're going to handle adapting to a new staff or a new set of principles when you know that wasn't necessarily there when you were being recruited by Mark yet. Um, so that is another big thing that led into my decision. I really had to understand Coach Duffy, who's the new um, head coach at Marquette, what her values were and what her goals were with her program. And uh, a lot of them lined up with Coach Keegers, and so that was really nice. And another thing that was big for me is half of the coaching staff at Marquette stayed there. So that was really nice to have some people that like I knew and I could fall back on if anything happened to go wrong. Coach Duffy played at Notre Dame. She played for the Lynx and everything. And um, I think she'll do a really good job there. So I'm not really worried about it. I do want to do a civil engineering major. So it's not the easiest major. So if I can build relationships with teachers, um, it can be a lot better at Marquette. Uh, with like a 26, 27 size class over like 150, 200 size class. So yeah, that's a big thing. At the end of the day for me, I mean, walking on that campus uh, the last time, I think I just had that feeling where it felt like home for me. I always visited the campus when I was younger because of my mom and everything. This year I'm definitely more comfortable with everything, just like the traditions and uh, how practice goes, everything like that. So. Um, That'll be nice to just have that background going into the season. And I think that all of our seniors have improved a lot. I mean, Grace Cody, Delaney Wagner, and Mary Fultz, um, all of them have potential to make a huge impact on this team this year. And we have younger kids coming in as well. I mean, um, Lizzie Holder and uh, Amber Scalia are obviously going to be important to our team this year to step up. And Alexis Pratt is going to be a huge part of this team as well. So. I think we'll have a solid team this year. Um, hopefully we can get back to that championship. It was a uh, hard last championship season, especially at Central when you go from not even making it past the first section game to last year going all the way to the championship. So I think a lot of these girls will be a little more comfortable on that stage this year. Um, Hopkins obviously is used to it. They probably have a routine for state and everything, um, but just having that comfort level going into state and knowing what it's like to play on that stage is going to be huge for our team as well. Now last year we got to see your three-point shooting and some behind-the-back layups. Are there any new tricks that we should look for when you take the floor in November? Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I mean, 
I definitely want to shoot a little more. I think this season um, it's nice because I'm a little more comfortable with how this team plays and I have chemistry with all of the girls now as opposed to last year so that'll be really nice. Um, I can't promise any new tricks but um, I guess we'll just have to see the season. I'm excited. Um, I think I have a really good group of seniors with me. Um, I have a really good team behind me so I think it'll be a great season and Obviously committing us took a lot of weight off me, so I'm excited to just have fun my last season and hopefully get to that championship game again like last year.